Hey everybody, welcome back. We are still on Theory of the Firm and we are on Cost of Production. Okay, this is a unit inside of Theory of the Firm. Theory of the Firm, once again, is how firms make decisions or companies make decisions. Inside of that, we're trying to understand production cost or cost of production. That's a whole unit, okay? This is like our fourth, fifth video inside of this unit. And right now, we're focused on the two types of production costs. Now, I just want to kind of warn you, at the beginning of this particular unit, cost of production, okay, we focused on what an economist considers cost. They consider both the explicit and the implicit cost. The explicit cost are the cash outlays of doing something. The implicit cost is the profit you would have made if you use the resources in an alternative way, okay? So we're also looking at those implicit costs because they're real costs. There's no cash outlay, but they're real costs. Now, we're focused on cost of production and we want to understand production costs. What are the two main types of production costs are there? And there's fixed cost and variable cost, at least from an entry or principal level uh, college class of microeconomics. This is how we all learned it when we went through to understand economics. When we got to the college level, first year classes, hey, we just want to focus on this thing called fixed cost and variable cost. Those are the two big conceptual buckets of cost. Let me say that one more time because that's what's important. Some people think that, hey, since it's a 101 class, we're dummying everything down. No, it's actually we're just trying to learn the concepts, okay? And the two major conceptual costs, two types of costs that are, you know, that are different from a conceptual standpoint are fixed cost and variable cost. Now here, let's go through the major ways they're different. That's what's important here, okay? Fixed cost. Number one, okay, is they've already been incurred, okay? They are a positive amount even if production is zero. So first thing I'm gonna put down here is positive even if our production level is zero. That means they've already been incurred. So let's put that down. Already incurred. So these costs have already happened. Another name for fixed cost is sunk cost, okay? so sunk cost and that gets us to the next point about fixed cost do not make present production decisions or short run production decisions based on fixed cost okay because they've already happened they're in the past okay so b no short run decisions made based on fixed cost, okay? You might be wondering why I didn't write this up ahead of time. I wanted you to kind of see it happen organically. Let's see us talk about it. Watch me write it so that you can get each one of these down because they're super important. In fact, this B right here is what we call the sunk cost bias that people fall victim to all the time. I do, you do, business people do, and it's basing decisions based on costs that have already happened, and we should never do that, okay? There's a saying, you might have heard it before, we're called don't cry over spilled milk, right? Don't cry over spilled, already spilled milk, right? That's, hey, the economist maybe came up with that saying because that actually gets to the heart of the matter. If it's already happened, don't make present decisions, going forward decisions based on it, all right? Now, we got A, we got B, and then finally C, I just want us to know there's no fixed cost in the long run, okay? So when we start talking about the long run, everything's variable. Even the plant size of that manufacturing facility, that size of that facility, it's variable. We could extend it. We could knock it down, build a bigger one. We could move our plant to another place, okay? The restaurant, okay? We could extend the restaurant, make it bigger. So in the long run, there's no such thing as fixed cost. We like to say all costs are variable in the long run, okay? So if you're like, well, what is the long, well, you know, what defines the, you know, when are you in the long run? Well, it's when fixed costs are variable, okay? It's, it's not like a matter of time. What defines when you have entered the long run is when those fixed costs have become variable. When that has happened, hey, the lease is up on that facility. Now you're in the long run. And then finally, D, average fixed cost. How do you find average fixed cost? It's simply fixed cost divided by the quantity. Okay, so these are the major things that we want to know about fixed cost. Then there's variable cost, okay? First thing, variable cost can be zero if production is zero, okay? Variable costs don't always have to be positive. Then B, variable costs increase with production. So as production increases, variable costs increase also. So variable costs increase with production. And finally, or maybe not finally, but point C 
is that uh, variable cost uh, we do use when we make short run decisions. That's the main thing that we're focused on, or at least a derivative, and it truly is a derivative of variable cost, okay? So variable costs are important for short run decision making. Variable cost, important for short run decision making. Short run decision making. And then finally, okay, now this truly is the finally, how do we find average variable cost? So average variable cost simply equals variable cost divided by quantity. And then there's total cost. I'm not going to write any notes. Okay, the big thing that you need to know about total cost is, hey, fixed cost plus variable cost equals total cost. Okay, there's only two types of production costs that we're considering. Once again, these are very conceptual buckets. That's what microeconomics at the first year is all about is understanding the concept. Actually, I'm going to write one thing, okay, right here. I want us to absolutely know average total cost equals average fixed cost plus average variable cost. And you can find average total cost by looking at the total cost divided by the quantity. So there we go. That's the important stuff. Let me step out of the way, make sure that you can see all the notes as far as these big buckets of cost, and they're gonna be important in our next few videos. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.